Hi guys, today we have the Keepers of the Sound clips. So I'm going to play a few demos for you just now and we're going to use some royalty fee rock because I mean clips is known for their rock music. They do it all well but rock is where they shine. Um, I have a few different variants, no unboxings because I had these in my demo room for a while before I started doing the unboxing videos. So just a brief overview of, of their products um, that I have and it all demo today. The most common ones, the A20F, the reference. Um, their normal 1990 track tricks worn, 8 inch copper spun drivers times two. And then to the side is the one I prefer and I'll get to why I prefer them now. They are the RF8000, the reference, the RP8000, reference premier. Basically, these jacked up. So, once again, like I always say, with all of these brands, they have their foot in the door brands. They want to get you into a certain price to make you enjoy their products and then up the line and get to where they eventually want you to be. So, these, um, I always I will call a spade a spade, guys. So, I'm going to give it to you straight. They are, you do the knock test. There's no damping inside the cabinets. There's minimal bracing inside the cabinets. Um, I quite like the finish. It has a different finish to the Reference Premier. The Reference Premier has a, has a, a vinyl wrap. Um, I also do kitchens and work with wood. So vinyl wrap looks good, but it does not take a knock. It does not take an impact. It just can come off with heat, sunlight, stuff like that. None of that's happened yet, but it's a possibility. The material they used on this, although it looks thinner, it is, it almost looks more industrial. It's going to be more, it's going to, it's going to be more hard wearing in the long run. So something to consider. These are good bang for buck. Downside to them. They still have their old, see this is very plasticky. They still have their old horn tweeter on this. The one that was known to be shouty um, to give you this effect. And um, it's good until it's not good. So yeah, enjoyable. Clips has a way to make music sound very enjoyable. It does enhance a lot of things that pure audio files won't like into this day don't like once again come in this is the 600m same as the 8000 same tweeter just a six and a half inch mid bass driver but same sound sound characteristic so on this they have the titanium vented 1993 track tricks horn it is not the same as this it does it also has a bit of the microphone but to a very detailed sound it does not sound harsh, does not sound bright, it's not shouty at all. These two are one of my favorite bookshelf speakers, and that's taking a lot of brands into consideration. Um, if I want to do some critical listening, some studio listening, I listen to the monitor studios. If I want to do some good all-round fun, I listen to, well, not all around fun. Let's say not as clinical as the studios, but to have a very reference sound, um, balanced, warm, neutral, I go to Definitive's D9s. Still do a review on those later. If I want to have a all around good, like an everyday driver car, I go to my Bentley 100s. If I want to have fun, if I just want to sit back and enjoy my music, I go to my 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 RP 600 M's. They are they are that good. They are really brilliant. Build quality is on par. Um, everything, and it's the same on these. So if you do have the extra money, um, what's the difference here? I'm not going to mention prices again for if I get something wrong, but it's it's not double. It's, a, it's, it's quite a jump, but it's worthwhile. If you can stretch from year to year, it's worth the go. If you are new in the game and you've not experienced any of this, 
nothing wrong with buying these buy them enjoy them once again like i always say keep your packaging keep them mint maybe later two years down the line you want to sell them and you want to get into these and after you've had these you want to sell them and then maybe get into the heritage stuff but the heritage stuff is uh IT expensive it's like four times the price three four times the price of the the rps and already they're not an easy sell in south africa i mean the rand to dollar is, is weak so already to get a customer into these and it's not an easy sell so yeah those are for the elite the heritage the heritage lines okay so i'm going to get you playing some stuff royalty free i'm going to go a and b again i'll tell you what i'm playing let's start with the um, a20s okay just going to up the volume a bit we are going for the guys wanting to know the kits we are going blue sound no two eye streamer to my rotile amplifier over there back to the speakers um the reason i'm not doing um the the little denon or the peach tree is i have this on my speaker selector so i can go through all the different speakers uh, maybe i should quickly put the 600 m's on it as well so you guys can hear those Nah, let's keep it by the floor standards on my previous demo of the, of the monitors because they off axis high you can't get a good feel for what they sound like these are next to each other so you get a good feel here we go a20s first over to 8000 another song so you guys can reference same song Tell you what I'm hearing. 820s. Can you hear the shoutiness of that horn tweeter? It's got a nice mid bass and a nice low end, but it's a little bit boxy but still very enjoyable. We'll switch over now and I'll discuss the 8000. And can you hear the tweezer is now much more laid back and not as shouty and in your face your mid bass and your low bass has a much more rounded or solid bass to it because of the damping and the build quality of the cabinets so that's basically the difference between these two products they look very much the same 
but there is a big difference between them but both of them very enjoyable just depends how deep your pockets go and what you want to spend let's play some more Okay, so I hope that gives you a little bit of an idea what Clips is all about and the difference between your reference and your reference premier line. Um, for me, again, once I was listening to this standing at the back, it's, it's, it's clear what I love. I can listen to both, but the RPs, they are the way to go. The beautiful thing about Clips is their sensitivity. They are high 90 dB, close to 100 dB efficient. So what that means is you get more output for your watt. So they'll be driven on any amplifier. You can have a small dinky amplifier. You can have a huge amplifier, no problems. I guess that's one of the reasons why they do sell so good. And that track trick, track tricks horn, it's always difficult to say, um, especially the titanium vented on the reference premiere for me, they did something very right there. I, I enjoy it. It's, it's a very enjoyable experience um, it, like I said it does alter the music but in a good way uh, not for everyone but I do like them um, 600 M's <coughs> lots of reviews out on them they are good um, I had a client here on the weekend again couldn't believe it's just the bookshelves playing and no subwoofer that six and a half for me gives out more bass than the eight inch on the monitor audio bronze 100s and um, I prefer them. Okay, it's not the same price, it's about double. So I can't really compare the two, um, but for me, a better bookshelf in every way. You can run a home, home theater system. I've got a home theater system running on, on the M's. I actually brought them from here now for this. I'm gonna put the 8000s in that room for a while and listen to a few movies and music. And yeah, if I can actually hear the difference, music you will. Um, but on movies, will there be a difference between running 600M with a subwoofer? I've got the 115, the 15-inch. Oh, not the 115, the new 150, the SPR 150, the 15-inch. So running a movie with those as fronts and the sub doing heavy duty, will there be an audible difference running the 8000s and still running the sub? Will you notice it? Um, I think it's going to be so minute, but I might be wrong. So I will do a demo on that room and my findings on that as soon as I've done that. Um, being said, how efficient these speakers are does not mean that a bigger amplifier is not better. When you partner them, like I've got them on the Rotel now, they sound big. Um, so it's just more headroom, gives you more scale. So I always, I always compare it to boxes. So putting in like, like the small denim. It's still a boxer that can box, but it's like the, the first fight you see. And then you move to um, something bigger, and it's like the middle fight. And then you move to your heavyweights, big roadside power amplifier, or the beach tree is in a different league. That will be your heavyweight the fight you want to see. And this is going to be like Floyd Mayweather, the, <laughs> the, the pro champ. So it, it all goes according to what you want to spend. But on this price bracket, no need to go there and really, unless you really want that audiophile, stereo experience, just doing music. But if you're going to be doing movies, a bit of music, a bit of gaming, I doubt you will be disappointed with any one of these. They, they all do a good job. It just comes down to the end user and how much he wants to spend and how much of a premium finish does he want. As you can see, the grey looks a bit plasticky. That looks a much more premium. On the Twitter, this is... Hot plastics, this is not. You hear that? It's like a like a rubbery, rubbery insulated material. It just feels and looks more premium. So yeah, I hope hope I've covered all the bases, guys. Um, oh, another thing at the back you can't see on the on the reference, normal binding post, red black. 
on the RP you get four-way binding posts so you can buy wire if need be I've got them by wired in my one room I'm gonna do it again now I don't know if there's a difference um, it just looks cool you get a nice by wire cable I think that's why most do it because I mean these are so efficient what are you gonna do you're gonna put 400 watts into them too and another thing of buy it's another topic I'm not gonna go into the by wire debate now but I hope you enjoyed it guys please like subscribe um, let me know if you want to see different speakers what do you want to see next do you want to see Polks um, do you want to see definitive technology shootouts um, SVS what do you want let me know drop me in the comments thanks guys till later cheers bye